Hello and welcome to the Gateway Workshops Hot and Cold Stone Full Body Massage DVD. To begin, we're going to go through a list of equipment required in order to carry out a hot stone massage. So we're going to place five stones on the face. First stone being over the third eye. We're going to place two stones over the eyes and two over the cheekbones. Remember when you're placing warm stones over the eyes you must use a moist cotton wool pad first. Never place hot stones directly on the, on the eyes. Do check the stones are the right temperature before you place them between the toes. Sometimes they do come out of the heater quite warm. So just cat paw test and make sure the client's happy with the temperature before they're placed. What's very nice here is to work between the radius and the ulna. Remember there are many muscles in the lower arm, wrist flexors, wrist extensors, etc. These muscles are very, very tightly packed in between the bones. So using either a palm stone on its side or a trigger stone, it's very nice for freeing the muscles. This area often becomes congested for people who do desk work, computers, etc. And so this is a very nice move. optional move here is to use a petrissage technique on tibialis anterior. Tibialis anterior, remember, is located on the lateral side of the tibia and this is a muscle that often becomes very, very tight. And here we're just using the stone on its side and circling. Remember, using the stone on its side increases the pressure. Work very, very slowly so that the pressure gets into the muscle area. And again, we can finish off with effleurage. Here we're not using cold stones, but of course you have the option to use cold stones again if your client would like that. And here we're working in the erector spinae muscles from the sacrum, working slowly up the back, just to the side of the spine. Remember, the slower you go with the stones, the more pressure you can deliver. So this is a circling movement or a friction movement using the stone. 